top eight or regionals, what would you play? Rabbit Ninja. That's crazy. He was my only loss. Ninja Rabbit. He pushed my shit in. <laughs> it was just an unfortunate experience. <laughs> it's a good deck. It's a good deck. It's pretty good. All right, so let me go ahead and go over it. Standard Vanillas. Three Saber Swords. Three Cobble Souls. Obviously, just the Rabbit Engine. I heard a rabbit's good. Busted. Three Direct Guava. So, got the whole Rabbit Engine. Then we got basically just tech cards. Um, kind of went on, like, these were, like, last-minute things that I decided to put in. I had a bunch of other ninja stuff and whatever, but I felt like main decking one Diddy Crow, two of Fact Mailer, only one Max C. How come only one Max C? Song and a Gorf. I didn't really want to draw into any of the dinosaurs. It was more along the lines of just me using the trap card to get the dinosaurs out to be able to make it like double log a place in one turn. So and I can show you basically how, how simple it is for the most part. Um, and then obviously I just played the three Hanzos for the ninja. So no Thunder King at all? No Thunder King. Why? Basically just because you don't really need Thunder King. This pushes with the, with the super new uh, Jutsu art of super transformation. Mm -hmm. Basically, I mean you get over any monster you want. I mean, it's really that simple. And what, why cold? Why what? What this? Crow wind ups. Uh, first turn wind ups. You can basically stop them from pitching your own hand, which I was able to do uh, oh. my round seven. I played wind ups and he got one card out of my hand, which was a cobble soul, and then he went for that wind up rat, and I had the DD Crow. Um, obviously, effect veilers for insectors. Max C is just just to stop those plays. Sangan, I mean, that's like playing a, a fourth rescue rabbit, and you can search out any of your uh, side cards there. So if you was to uh, get another Max C, would you take this out for another Max C or no? I don't think I would. I mean, I felt like one Max C was perfect because I, I drew it in the situations that I needed it. Uh -huh. And when I didn't need it against certain decks, I could just take it out. It was an easy one card side. Right. It wasn't like playing three Max Cs where you have to drop all three. Because usually every game I played, I, I always kept the effect builders in unless I played TG like I did round eight. Other than that, I mean, the Max C pretty much came out every game. I always sided it out. Sometimes it just wasn't needed. But that's the monster lineup. Then the traps, we just I just played only two on uh, Ninja 2 Art. I tried three at first, but it was just too many. Um, I would draw it all the time and not have targets because I played I played five ninjas at first, dropped it down to four, and then three and two just ended up working perfectly. Then just staple cards, double Phoenix Chain, double warning, trap dust shoe, follow morning, mirror force, trench. Stable tracks. Good. So for next uh, next format, will you take this out and, and edit edit another uh, KT? No? More than likely, every game I always cited this out for Starlight Road uh -huh. because it just seemed like my I, for the most part my, my opponent always tried to bait me with either Dark Hole or Heavy Storm when I played Vagia. Uh -huh. So if I had that Starlight Road, I could always play the Starlight Road and keep my negation. I mean, does shoot second game anyways? I always won my first game, so second game I cited it out because I knew I wasn't gonna go first and. Play with play it anyways. And have you tried with safe zone? Just safe zone with a I don't really like, like safe zone. I mean, but it keeps Loggy on the board, but you don't really want to keep him on the board the entire time. Because after the negations, after a while, it kind of gets annoying when it gets clogged. Because mm -hmm. when you're using the ninjutsu art, usually uh, your targets are guava. Uh, you summon guava, stuff like that. And it's just, it just makes it more difficult when you have a lot of monsters on the board. Staple spells, uh, for the most part. The lances for the guava, so they can attack all the monsters. Right. Um, I felt like I really, like every game I always cited in MSTs because it seemed like my opponents always had a lot of back row, but for the most part, this always went perfect game one. Smashing grounds for the Thunder Kings, some bigger monsters, Spirit Reaper, stuff like that. And you can even use it in just so hard to get over them, but those are for the most part simple spells. And then, then obviously the extra deck is obvious. Yeah, I do. Okay. And I did play two Doka. 
oh, yeah. uh, as well. Three log gear, two dog. So can I ask you some questions? Yeah, yeah. You think this deck is a is a combo basic? I mean, like a simple simple deck to use? It is. For the most part, it is. Uh, you gotta know when to play in the jutsu arts. Uh huh. Because a lot of times, if you start off with them, you can always bait your opponent with effect dealers, stuff like that. Um, and that's pretty much what always happened. I'd summon them after game one. They know what it does. I'd summon it, get the jutsu art, or they would effect dealer, and I'd have another one in hand. So it really didn't make a difference. You can always play around it, but. I mean, it's 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 a really pushable deck because you get over any monsters you want. Guava always gets a, a direct hit all the time, so I mean, it's good for just keeping monsters off your opponent's side of the field. Uh, so this is my my side deck. I side deck I side deck the Thunder Kings only because of stuff like wind up just slows them down. Fossil Dino the same reason. Uh, basically synchro deck stuff like that. Starlight Road was always just a side deck card to get rid of the trap dust shoot. TG's heavy back row. Um, Chain disappearance I wanted to put in trap hole, but I kind of didn't get it at the last second. It was more along the lines for stuff like basically in sectors. Um, but it actually did end up winning me game one when I played top eight against TGs because he summoned Striker and I changed his appearance because um, I didn't have to <laughs> trap home. But Spear Reaper for basically beat deck, same thing with Snowman Eater. Uh, basically just defense. Uh, Any last words on it? No. no. For the most part, it was a really fun deck. I mean, it's not really obviously complicated, but I mean. It's easy to play for the most part. I mean, that's, that was the main thing. It has a lot of outs. So. Yeah. Some good Yu Gi Oh! It's, oh, it's, yeah. a, it's a Chef Green Spicy Tactic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, thank you very much. Really All right. that's